everybody hands in the air. I am not a math teacher, but I'm sure after you watch this video, you will learn a very easy trick from me. A trick that everybody could use as we go on on our everyday life. Let's go. So the trick that we are going to learn today is between smaller numbers multiplication. The number 1 to 5, which is on our left hand, and the number 6 to 10 on our right hand will be multiplied against each other. So let's just remember that the rule of this trick is just using multiplication and addition. So let's get to the example. Like for example, six times one. Let's multiply six times one. Using just this two finger, we will know what is six times one. Multiply then add. Six times one, this will become six. So six. Let's go to six times two. Six times two. One and two will add. Six and six is equals to 12. So six times two is equals to 12. How about six times three? Six times three. We'll add three of them. Six, 12, 18. So even if you look at the calculator, the number that's going to come out of 6 times 3 is equals 18. So, let's move on to 6 times 4. What is the answer of 6 times 4? 6, 12, 18, 24. Try and look at the answer of 6 times 4 in your calculator. 6 times 5. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. So you add all of this in equivalent to 6 because that's the number we multiply against 6 times 5. And 6 times 5 is equals 30. So something comes up in our mind. What about if we multiply 5 times 4 or 4 times 5? 5 times 3 or 3 times 5? 2 times 5 or 5 times 2? 2 times 4 or 4 times 2? Does this trick work? My answer is yes, it does work. So let's try 1 times 1 or 1 times 5. 1 times 5. Very easy question. Very easy multiplication. But does it work? Yes. 1 times 5, you just count. All of them will become 1 when you add the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 1 times 5 is 5. And it goes to 1 times 4, 1 times 3, 1 times 2. That's the idea of multiplying it by just your finger. So, how about 2 times 5? Does it work? What will be now will become the value of all the numbers going to 5. The value of it becomes 2. So, 2 times 5 is, let's start to count. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. How about 2 times 4? Where do we start and stop to count? We start from 1 and stop at 4. So, 2, 4, 6, 8. You're getting the idea of it? Getting the hang of it? Okay, how about 2 times 3? So we'll stop counting at 3. 2, 4, 6. How about 2 times 2? From 1 and stop at 2. 2, 4. So if you look at all the answers that I'm giving you, by just adding them, when it is being multiplied against the other number, 
you will get the answer the same way I'm getting it even if you are using the calculator. So, how about 3 times 5? What will then the value of the fingers that you have? 3 times 5, so we will start counting from 1 and into 5, but the value of all your fingers becomes 3. So, let's start with number 1. The value of it is 3, don't forget. So, 3, 6, 9, 12, and stop at 5, 15. So, 3 times 5 is equals to 15. The same is when we say 3 times 4. We already mentioned it before. When we said 3 times 5, we when we reach to number 4, it's 3, 6, 9, and 12. So, how about 4 times 5? The same process. The value of the fingers will become 4 and stops. Counting at 5 starts from number 1. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So, that's the value of 4 times 5. How about the 5? Of course, the same. If we say 5 times 5, so 2, 5. But we start from number 1, stops at number 5. But the value of the fingers becomes 5. So let's say 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So 5 times 5 is equals 25. Did you get the idea? Now we're done with just this side of the finger. Let's move on today, right side of the finger. We have already given from the beginning of this video an example, which is 6 times 1 to 6 times 2 and 6 times 3. Let's try if it works to the bigger number. How about let's try 9. 9 times 1, 9. 9 times 2, what are you going to do? You're going to add 9 and 2 is 18. So 9 times 2 is 18. How about 9 times 3? Add 9 more. 18, 27. So 9 times 3 is equal to 27. How about 9 times 4? Add 9 more. 27 plus 9 is equal to 36. How about 9 times 5? Add 9 more. 9 times 5, 36. For 9 times 4, plus 9 is equals 45. So 9 times 5 is equals to 45. Just have a look at it in the calculator. See if 9 times 5 is equals 45. Now, let's see if it works to number 8. Let's move on to 8 times 2. So what's the value of your little finger? It's number 8. So 8 and the number 2. 8. 8 plus 8 is equal to 16. Number 3. Add another 8. 8, 16, 24. How about we add another 8 for 8 times 4 or 4 times 8? 24 equals 32. The last finger, which is number 7. No, second to the last. We still got a 10. So, 7 times 2. We both know the value of this finger, the smaller numbers, turns into 7 when we add them all. So, 7 plus 7 is equal to 14. 7 times 2 is equal to 14. 7 times 3. Add 7 more. 14 plus 7 is equal to 21. 7 times 3 is equal to 21. How about 7 times 4? Add another 7. 21 plus 7 is equal to 28. 7 times 4 is 28. How about 7 times 5? 28 plus 7. 7 times 5 is equal to 35. So, if you want to learn the tricks of multiplying numbers from 6 to 10. 
What's the tricks you can use to multiply these numbers and get to the right answer? Refer to my previous video. And there, you can learn on how to use your fingers and enjoy life every day. Good luck, have fun, and until the next video, see ya!